What's up Dirt Tracks Nation, Luke here, bringing you guys another walk around of a vehicle that we just got in. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this, but before I go any further, I just wanna say, stay tuned to the end of this walk around where we'll give you some details on a giveaway that we're doing, a prize pack. So make sure you watch the whole thing and those details will be coming at the end. For now though, let's have a look at this unit right here, Polaris's 2021 General XP1000 Deluxe. Now this is a unit, as anyone who watches Dirt Tracks knows, uh, the General is a unit that we absolutely love around here. It was really the first of its kind in, it, in that it's a sport side-by-side, -side, but with utility features. And yes, we've had sport utility vehicles before, We've often argued that something like a Ranger can be considered a sport utility. Um, I guess if you want to look at it, Yamaha with their Wolverine. So, you know, there's, there's vehicles that have tried to uh, gain that title. But really, we believe here at Dirt Tracks, the first one to ever do it right was Polaris with the original General. This is the General XP, which is the bigger, better in every way general and this is the one that if I was going to be spending my money it'd be on this guy the reason is that it's got a 64 inch stance better width better stability better handling it's just all of those things it's got 14 inches of wheel travel so you've got excellent ride quality and before I go to any other of the details I just want to say up front this vehicle has a full set of Walker Evans Velocity shocks. Now, if you follow Razor at all, you know that Polaris actually has its own Razor Velocity model with these shocks. And it's crazy for me to think that on a general, the entire General XP lineup, they all have Velocity shocks, something that Polaris had previously reserved just for their highest performance, um, 72 wide sport side-by-side. -side. So that's pretty incredible. Um, Obviously, this thing's pretty tough looking. I personally love the way the General looks. I think it looks like a little pickup truck, especially if you add the windshield and the cab. Um, this model being the Deluxe is actually the base model in the, the General XP lineup, uh, which is crazy because it comes with a long list of features that I've never seen on a base model before, starting with the bumper up here, that's standard feature, Polaris 4,500 pound winch, that comes standard. We've got Pro Armor 30 inch Crawler XG tires on 10, 10 inch wide rims. So this is a serious tire and wheel setup. And you'll notice that it's not beadlock, um, but they are 14 inch aluminum wheels. So uh, as much as maybe beadlocks might be your, your ultimate choice, uh, you could arguably just buy wheels and use these tires because these are an excellent tire. Um, I wouldn't say that they're the best at anything, but they're good at probably almost everything. So that's uh, that's saying a lot. And this is a tire that I wouldn't change. I would leave this on this vehicle and just run it because I actually do like these after having ridden them uh, in the past. Moving along, obviously everybody knows General comes with doors. One of the number one features of this vehicle that sets it apart from everything else, the smart one of the smartest features I think that this vehicle has is the doors. And I'm gonna explain why in a little bit more detail. First of all, these doors are actually uh, rubber sealed. They have a rubber gasket all the way around them. So when you get into deep water, they do work to keep the water out of the uh, passenger compartment so your feet don't get wet. Now it's not perfect. It doesn't keep every drop of water out and there are other holes underneath the dash that let water in, but it does a much better job of say, I mean, even against Polaris stuff, their razors have big openings in the doors. Like, that's silliness. This is the way to do a door. Uh, the other thing I want to mention, because this vehicle does have competition now, which it didn't before, uh, but notice how this door is up high right here. Um, Yamaha with the R-Max has shoulder bolsters uh, mounted to the back of the seat frame, and they, they are positioned basically right here. And the idea is safety. I don't argue with the fact that that it's safer and that's smart, um, but they don't look great and they're not that comfortable. Polaris instead did what we think Yamaha should do. They used the door as a shoulder bolster and just raised it up here so that your shoulder is gonna actually impact the door or rest against the door, giving you more shoulder room. It looks more integrated. And when you open the door, you can get out way easier as opposed to on the Yamaha where you have to get out around the shoulder bolster, which is annoying. So. Kudos to Polaris for thinking about safety and keeping your arms in, but also doing it in a way that's functional and very stylish. With that said, there's one styling cue on this thing that I'm not quite sure about, and it seems kind of weird, and it relates to this part of the door. I would have thought that the smarter move for styling would have been to, to continue this line 
into the box so there wasn't a sharp edge here in this I don't know that looks funny to me even if it had like an angle right here in the front of the box so it kind of followed a, a line that would have made more sense that's a styling thing it's not technical it's not you know mechanical uh it's just style so I'm not going to complain too much about it um obviously the general it's it's biggest unique factor about the general or, or what has been unique until this year is the dumping cargo bed this is not quite as big as a ranger but it's pretty big and it's really deep uh so it can hold a ton of stuff and you can use this for work this isn't one of those cargo boxes that's like just for camping you know this can be used for actual hauling logs hauling dirt uh one hand tailgate works amazing it's sturdy it locks in place really positively which i like and then of course this this cargo box dumps which as I said earlier, is one of the things that set the general apart from other wannabe sport utilities. So this thing just, it's really easy to operate. You just pop the lever and up it goes. And this here, this is the secret to the general. It's also uh, what Yamaha copied with the R-Max. Now I'm not going to say the R-Max is a complete copy of a general, though it is pretty obvious they use the general as their benchmark. But Yamaha was ultra smart in the R-Max because this is the feature that they included on that vehicle. Long travel, dumping cargo box, sport utility. So this obviously is a feature that has inspired others in the industry. I expect to see more of that. I expect to see a Can-Am in this design very soon. Um, but Polaris was the first and they, they did it from the start. That also makes it pretty easy to access your engine, which is kind of nice if you're checking oil or if you ever have to change spark plugs or whatever. Um, out back here, two inch hitch receiver. So, you know, your truck hitch receivers will all fit in here, which is cool. Um, I would say from a styling standpoint, the exhaust is a real low point. It's not integrated. It looks like it was just bolted on after the fact. It's not the prettiest thing ever. The black cover, okay, nice. But, you know, there is a style that could have been used here and, and hasn't been, and I think it should be. So in the future, I'd like to see Polaris improve that, especially on the XP model. But again, if you look at the rear suspension, those are some seriously beefy lower A-arms, and they're arched. So you get increase in ground clearance. Overall ground clearance of this vehicle is 13 and a half inches, which is fantastic. Um, but the arched arms simply extend that ground clearance wider under the vehicle. So you don't have to worry as much about hitting stuff when you're driving over rocks and crap like that. As we continue around the vehicle, I'm actually going to go back this way and have the camera follow me through. Uh, I want to talk about the interior of the General. This being an XP, it is obviously premium, and this is the a deluxe model. Again, it's the base model, but it still comes with so many upgraded features. The roof is standard equipment, which is great. Um, your rear view mirror is standard equipment, which if you have ever driven a side-by-side -side with a rear view mirror, you'll know that you never want to be without one. Um, it's a super useful feature. Now this model, this vehicle, sorry, not this model, but this vehicle has ride command. That does not come standard on the Deluxe. Ours came with that as an upgrade from the factory, but that's not the way the base Deluxe model comes. So you're going to see it here, but don't expect to see it on all of the Deluxe models in the showrooms, unless the dealer specifically ordered it that way. Ours also has, along with the Ride Command, Rockford Fosgate Stage 4 audio. I will say this though, all General XPs do come with Rockford Fosgate Stage 1 audio. So this model came with Stage 1 from the factory, except instead of this screen here, it had the little Bluetooth screen, uh, which is a great screen and works awesome. It's a good system. I like that Polaris has the Rockford Fosgate speakers integrated. They're not like a bolt-on aftermarket thought. They are actually integrated into the interior of the vehicle. They're not in the way. You don't even notice them until they're cranking out sweet tunes. Um, inside, seats are excellent. Always love these seats. The general seats are fantastic. Um, Polaris did a smart thing here by making this armrest on kind of soft. It's not, it's not like super padded, but it's not hard plastic. It looks nicer, it feels nicer, it feels very premium, and it works great as an armrest. Also inside is really deep with a 12 volt outlet in there, so you got lots of storage space between your seats with power. Um, another 12 volt outlet here in the dash, integrated winch controls here, and if you just look around in here, there's all kinds of little storage cubby holes and stuff. Now let's be honest, 
if you're out on the trail and you're banging around in the rocks or in the mud or whatever, you're not going to put your cell phone right here. You're not going to set important stuff there. But when you stop or when you're hanging out with your buddies and you got a place you put your phone or put whatever, these are useful areas. But, you know, I think when I first look at them, I always think, what am I going to do with that? That's not very realistic to actually use that while I'm riding. And I'm not sure that that's what they're meant for. Um, but just a thought I've had many times as I've looked at this vehicle. Uh, obviously, you've got your glove box here with all of our paperwork in it. Uh, so that's not too special. Now, if you can see over here, these doors are finished all through the inside and they are very nicely finished. There's no frame that you can see. There's no real, like you, you can't see this side of the door from this side. It's very automotive in that way. Uh, the, the latch is nicely integrated. Actually looks like some vehicle car latches that I've seen before. And this piece here acts as a small armrest and it's functional. You can actually use it to rest your arm on, which is so cool. I think that's awesome. Obviously on the passenger side, you've got your grab handle here and your grab handle on the door. It's not as good as the center mounted grab handle. I think any side-by-side -side, personally, I think any side-by-side -side should have a center mounted grab handle, T-style -T grab handle. Um, it just makes you feel safer and it's easier to use, more functional. This system here leaves you feeling more like uh, you're on a theme park ride where you're kind of just holding yourself in the seat. It's not as confidence inspiring, though it does work. And because the doors are so sturdy, this handle on this side actually functions. Whereas a lot of other vehicles with a handle on the door, if the door is flimsy, the handle feels like it's not going to protect you anyway. So what's the point? Um, that's really all I got to talk about in the interior of this vehicle. Again, this has the upgraded display. Um, I love ride command and all the features that you get. I love being able to track people in your group. I love maps. I love the integrated audio system, the integrated gauges and all the information you can get about your vehicle. It's very smart. Um, so I think that that's definitely something to consider if you're going to buy a vehicle like this. It is a very expensive upgrade to add to the deluxe model. It's not cheap. It does come with the Rockford Stage 4. So that's a major upgrade. Now, for all the people out there who are going to put audio in their vehicle anyway, maybe that's, it makes it cheaper for you because you're going to add those parts aftermarket. But if you're not big into the audio, this is an expensive upgrade. It may be worth looking at the um, factory custom edition that comes with that also comes with a whole bunch of other stuff. But if this isn't a big deal to you, if you don't need this, or if you use your phone for your GPS or whatever, then you don't have to stress about it. Um, I do like it though. So it's kind of cool that they upgraded this one for us. Um, I think that's kind of all I got to say about this thing. The general is a do all for everybody vehicle. And that's, that's what I love most about it. It answers a ton of questions uh, and it and it solves a ton of problems that until this year nothing else in the industry solved. For example, let's say let's say I mean you're a normal human being and you can't afford to have two side by sides, but you need to do work. Maybe it's for a business, maybe it's for uh, you know you have property, but there's a purpose in you needing to do real work towing trailers. This has turf mode, so you know let's say you needed those features but you still want to go riding with your buddies on the weekend and you don't want to be riding around in a utility vehicle while they all have razors and fun stuff. Here's your ride. This is perfect. And I think that that's really the beauty in it. As I've said earlier, uh, it does work as hard as it plays and it plays as hard as it works. So there's really no downside to buying in general. Um, up until this year, the general was in a class of its own. It no longer is in a class of its own. Um, Yamaha's R-Max two-seater has been laser pointed at this vehicle with every spec being either the same or better. Um, we've tested the R-Max and very much like it. There are a number of things about this vehicle that I like more than the R-Max and vice versa. I don't think anybody should ever feel like if they're buying a, a General and not an R-Max that you're getting anything less. You're absolutely not. You're getting every bit as good a vehicle with every bit the capabilities that the R-Max has. Um, but definitely now that it has some competition, it's pretty interesting. And I think it's going to be an interesting season next season when we have both of them on the ground for a lot longer, we can do full side-by-side -side reviews of them. I'm very much looking forward to that. And I know you are too. Now I mentioned a prize pack. Um, now that we're done with our walk around here on the General XP, 
Uh, basically, it's super easy to win a prize pack uh, of Dirt Tracks gear. All you got to do is comment about the video. We like positive comments, but if you got some constructive criticism, we'll read those too. Uh, and we will go through and randomly pick one of the comments and send you a prize pack of some Dirt Track swag. So all you got to do is comment. It's that easy. You're going to comment anyway. You might as well win something for it. Uh, but we do love reading your comments, and that's something here at Dirt Tracks we always very much appreciate uh, is hearing from our viewers, hearing your constructive criticism, not insults, but constructive criticism. We always like that. Uh, we love hearing the positive things you think we're doing and things you'd like to see us do. So make sure you comment that stuff. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because we update constantly. Uh, even though here in Canada, winter is coming, we still update our Dirt Tracks YouTube page and all of our sites and, and other social media. So stay tuned. And uh, yeah, comment, like, subscribe. We appreciate all that. We appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed this segment, make sure you hit the like button. And also comment down below because we love hearing from our fans and we try to reply as much as possible. And also make sure you subscribe because here at Dirt Tracks, we've always got cool stuff coming your way.